going on everybody it's your favorite auntie mo and we are back for another episode review of catfish y'all how the hell people still getting catfished out here in 2019 with all the technology all of everything we got super salutes catch a cheetah all of this how are people still getting catfished in 2019 i don't understand it i don't get it we are back for another episode review of Catfish. This is season seven, episode 40, Angel and Antonio. Before we get into the review, if you have not done so just yet, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think of this video with a thumbs up or thumbs down and hit the notification button so you will know whenever I upload new content. Y'all, this damn episode of Catfish, girl, you really, girl, really, you know, some of these people I feel bad for because it's like, damn, you got done wrong. You know, such you know, they took advantage of you. But then other people, it's like, girl, you really like. Okay. Um, I hope y'all are ready for this review. I'm ready to give it to you. So let's get right on up into it. <laughs> All right, y'all look. So we got Angel, 23 years old. She's a single mother from Georgia. Has a four-year-old daughter, beautiful girl. She's a full-time mother, stay-at-home mother. She's a full-time student as well. You know, she out here doing the damn thing. You know what I'm saying? Getting her independent woman on or whatever, right? Go ahead, Angel. I ain't mad at you. Hey. Y'all, she been talking to 25-year-old Antonio, who is a DJ from Georgia as well. This is Antonio. This is who Angel been talking to y'all. Okay. He's a DJ from Georgia. Um, what is it? Valdosta, Georgia, whatever. They met on POF. He sent her a message. Okay. He hit her up in the DMs like, what's up? What's good? I'm feeling you. So they started talking. They hit it off right away. They had been talking every day. She said things between them got pretty serious. They started exchanging I love yous between each other, yada, yada, yada. They were supposed to have met up. He was supposed to have come over to her house. She sent this man her address where she lives with her daughter. He never showed up to the house. They've never video chatted. They've never FaceTimed. She only has about three or four pictures of him. And they've only talked on the phone. Yeah, they talk on the phone as well. Um, The thing that really got me, that was like, what? Um, the fact that you only have a few pictures of him, you never FaceTime him, but the girl says that she's sent him money before. She sent this man damn near four hundred dollars before. One time he was in the hospital. He sends her a picture of him in the hospital. Um, no, some chick that was his home girl sends her a picture of him in the hospital, saying if you love him, you'll send him some money. He needs some money for whoop de woo. She trying to figure out what's going on with the boy. Finally, he tells her he was in the hospital for depression, so they was trying to figure out what was going on with him. So you was laid up in the hospital like that? Well, was you a, a danger to yourself or anybody else? Like, I, 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 girl, it was red flags just all up and through here, all up and through here, but she just was not getting it. I was like, girl. So she says when she sent him money before, she's cashed at this man money. He claims that he needed some help paying his phone bill, all right? He sent her his cash app information. She supposedly, no, this was twice. One time she sent him cash app and it said Mr. Williams on it. So she asked him who's Mr. Williams. He's like, oh, I don't know. Another time, he sent her supposedly some bank account information because she sent them some more money and it had a different name on it. She asked him about it. He was like, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Y'all, this heifer has even sent him her last $10 before and has gone without just because she feels this strongly about him and she's just so sure that Antonio is in love with her and they gonna live happily ever after, y'all. I mean, I'm sorry. I, I felt bad for the girl to an extent, but some of this boo-boo, baby girl, like B. Simone says, baby girl. I, I just don't understand. This is a scam. 
How do you not know that? Like what? So Neve's doing his investigation. His co-host this episode is his wife. They're so super cute together. So he is, he first starts off by getting all the information that he got from Angel, right? She sent him the pictures, the few couple of pictures that she had of Antonio, plus some pictures that he sent her of the nightclub that he works in. Now the pictures were just of the club empty. It was just like a couple of waitresses here and there, but the pictures were just of the club empty or whatever, right? Now mind you, he's a DJ. But um, I think his DJ name is like Easy something, some whatever DJ name that he goes by. But again, his name is Antonio James. So they um, look at the pictures on the club. They end up doing a search of the club on Google or whatever. So they see that the pictures are similar. The atmosphere is the same as the club pictures that he sent her that he works in, right? So they do a reverse image search on the pictures that she sent him that she has of Antonio. Nothing comes up. They end up going to his um, social media page. I want to say it was his Facebook page. They look at the pictures that he has on his Facebook Facebook page. On the pictures of his Facebook page, all of them he has tagged Easy to God. So Need clicks on Easy to God, comes to find out it's like a totally different Facebook page of this guy named Easy to God, who is a rap artist. He's got 22,000 and something followers. He seems to be a legit person. So Neve and them actually reach out to Easy to God. They send him a message and wait to hear something back. In the meantime, they do um, a search on the phone number. Phone number comes up as James Williams. So Neve and his wife is like, okay, oh shit, what should we do? Let's just call the number. So Neve's wife called the number, a woman answers. She's like, hello. And so Neve's wife is like, um, yes, I'm looking for James Williams. And so the woman is like, um, yes, what is this in regards to? Um, this is in regards to his Verizon bill. And so she was like, okay, hold on. Um, one second, I'll go get him. So Neve and his wife are like, oh, shit, son. So the wife gets back on the phone. She's like, um, he's about to hop in the shower. Um, what is this in regards to? I'm his wife. Neve, wife, get scared. This bitch hang up the phone. Girl, you can't be nigga knocking on somebody's phone, get scared, and then hang up. Oh, Lord have mercy. So, she gets scared after she hang up the phone. They like, what the fuck? So, this nigga married? Is that what's really going on? Is that the tea? Like, what's good? So, finally, they get a phone call back from Easy the God's manager. Now, she says... They know, they don't know who this person is, but they know exactly who it is. Apparently, this person has been doing this for years, stealing his pictures, going and catfishing bitches out here in these streets, doing all kinds of crap. So she's been trying to get the Twitter shut, shut down, Facebook, all the social medias that this fool has been using, pretending to be him to get it shut down, but they haven't gotten shut down yet. Turns out, easy to God. His real name is Enrique. He lives in New York. He don't know nothing about goddamn Angel. Y'all, so next Neve is like, um, so we don't know what else to do. Let's just go ahead and go down here to the nightclub, Deja Vu's, and see what we can find out. We know the dude's name is James Williams. It's not um, Antonio James, like he said it was. So let's just go to the club and see if it's somebody there that they may know. You never know. Try to get down to the club some sketchy ass nigga answered the door, right? And he like, uh, yeah, yeah, what's up? Yeah, can I help you? Like, what the fuck is going on? And he was like, um, yeah, is there a manager or somebody that we can speak to or something? And dude like, yeah, but we closed right now. And he was like, yeah, but can we just talk to the manager? You know, is there anybody we can talk to? So the sketchy ass dude was like, uh, yeah, go ahead, come on in. So they go in, they end up talking to the manager. His name is KP. So he's like, you know, I'm need. This is my wife. We're in here um, filming an episode of Catfish. We looking to see if you know somebody that works here by the name of James Williams. The manager, Cap, is like, no, nah, I don't know nobody by that name. He's like, okay, well, what about somebody by the name of Antonio? He's like, no, nah, I don't know nobody by that name. So then he was like, well, can you look in your employee files for me and tell me if you got somebody by that name? Now, I thought HIPAA stated that you just can't be walking up from people's job asking to see their employee files and shit like that. That's neither here nor there, though. Move right along from that. So while Neve and his wife are waiting on the manager KP to come back and see if he knows anybody by the name of James Williams that works there, he's talking to the waitresses that are there, right? 
And so he's like, look, so we're looking for this guy. His name is James Williams. He could got, he could go by the name of Antonio. We're trying to help this girl named Angel find him because, you know, he been out here catfishing her ass, got her out here in the streets looking crazy as hell. We need y'all help. So do y'all know this dude, you know, or these are pictures of the club. These are pictures that he took saying that he works here. Does any of this look familiar? So they all looking at the pictures. One of the girls is like, oh, bitch, that's me. So this nigga done took a picture of the empty ass club with one of the waitresses in there or whatever. But they don't know who took the pictures. So Neve is like, look here. I'm going to leave my number. I'm going to need you to call me if you find out who dude is. You know, they asked him, like, do y'all have any DJs that been up in here working and the other? So they said they had a DJ easy that came in there not too long ago so he was like oh shit i'm gonna need y'all to get in contact with dj easy call me if y'all find out anything else in between time in between time but uh we gonna still be on the case y'all so of course they get back to angel tell angel look here what are you expecting to happen? What are you hoping that we find out? Well, I'm hoping that the guy that I've been talking to this whole time is really Antonio. And I just know it's him. And I'm just hoping that, yeah, you're going to tell me that it's him. And he was like, no. Well, you ain't been talking to Antonio. You've been talking to some nigga named James Williams. Antonio was really Enrique. He's all the way up in New York. You ain't been talking to him. We don't know who you been talking to. We went to the club try to see if we could find out. We don't know. But as soon as we hear something, we gonna holler at you and let you know. But as of right now, baby girl, you not talking to Antonio. I mean, I don't see how you didn't see this in the first place. Like what? Y'all, so the next day, Need gets a text message from Cap, the manager at the nightclub, and was like, I found out some more information, Need. Holla at your boy. So Neve calls Cap. Cap like say, look here though. I didn't realize until I had to go back and look deep in my employee files. We actually do have a dude here named James Williams that work here. And one of my waitresses was telling me that um they overheard the conversation that me and you and the waitresses had yesterday and come to find out one of the security guards here, he been bragging to them about he, how he been online catfishing bitches, getting their money and all of this, how he go by the name of Antonio, he call him his trophies and all of that. Matter of fact, it was the dude that opened up the door for y'all yesterday when y'all came through. So it was the old sketchy McSketcher ass motherfucker that opened the door for them that was like, hey, so what y'all doing here? And I knew someone right with that nigga. When he opened the door, I knew someone right with his goddamn ass. So then Cap, Cap gonna tell Neve, matter of fact, he here right now. He getting ready to open up for, for the club tonight. You know, y'all won't go ahead and slide through or whatever. Y'all go ahead and come on through right now if you want to. See, that's a hater. I'm just saying. Now, any other place of business, you if somebody call unless they got a warrant, Nick, you can't confirm or deny whether they are an employee at your establishment. But not only did you confirm, you done went and told this nigga schedule. He up in here right now. Y'all go ahead and come here right now. Like, damn. My nigga, where's the loyalty? Like, what? Y'all said, they get Angel. Tell Angel, come on. We been saddle up and ride on back up here to this club because we done found out who the hell it is. Come to find out the catfish was catfishing us when we trying to go up there and find a catfish. So they get Angel, go up there to the club, right? So he texts Cap to let Cap know that he outside. You know, I got the crew with me. We finna come up in there with the cameras and shit. Cap come outside, gonna tell Neve, Oh, I ain't tell him that you was coming. I told him that, that you know, y'all might come back and ask some questions, but I ain't tell him y'all was coming. Black folks love some damn drama. I'm sorry. Niggas love drama. Niggas love drama. What you could, girl, so they walk up on him. This fool in there working, y'all. Getting the chairs together. He pushing up his glasses, working, minding his own business. They roll up on him. Neve like, hello, hi, 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 James. James, hi, hi. This is Neve Cat. Hi. He like, uh, 
Uh, um, yes, how you doing? Yes, my, my, uh, yeah, how, how, how can I help you? He's like, um, so your name is James Williams, right? James like, uh, no, it, 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 it's just James. Why? Who you, why? And he was like, well, and uh, we have reason to believe you've been talking to our friend Angel here. Do you have no Angel? Goddamn, James like, no, oh, 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 no, huh? No, I ain't never seen her before in my life. He was like, really? You ain't never seen her before? Player, really? Really? Well, um, you're going to have to go ahead, give up the ghost. We know your name is James Williams. We know you've been talking to Angel here for about a year. We know that she done um, sent your ass some money. And we know you out here catfishing bitches out in the streets. Say what's good. Then he finally admits, oh, yeah, that's me. Like, dog, what? Y'all want to see who it was that was catfishing, huh? This is James. This is the gentleman that was catfishing Angel the whole time. Y'all, so Angel is upset. She's crying and she has every reason to be crying and upset. She like, okay, so what was up with the bank account information you sent me? Up, oh, yep, that was me, duh, Mr. Williams. She was like, why did you do this to me? You know I have a daughter. I'm a single mom. I've sent you my last before when I didn't have anything but my last $10. I've gone without just so you could have. Like, how can you do this to me? She's upset. He says he never loves her. He loves her as a person. Maybe they can be friends, but he doesn't love her like that. Y'all, she upset. She get in the car, start crying. I mean, like I said, I feel bad for her to a certain extent, but all the way, no, I don't. Like, girl, real girl, come on now. So they do the little two, three month check in or whatever. She done met somebody new online. Okay, claims that they FaceTime before, so she knows he legit. Girl, whoop de woo, more power to you on that. They do the follow up with James Williams catfishing ass. He said he's doing good as well. He's not living under the persona of Antonio no more. He out here just doing his thing, y'all. Oh, and I forgot to mention, he claims he wasn't married. He claims that wasn't his wife. He claims he don't know who that was. So we still don't even know the real on that. Y'all, but that was the end of, of Catfish. Y'all, I, I just, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. If y'all seen this episode, y'all let me know what y'all think about it. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And Auntie will see y'all in the next video. Peace out. What's up, y'all? Do me a favor and share the video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think and um, hit that notification button so you will be up to date when I upload my latest videos. Ahala.